definitely an attack. And, um, I got the feeling we're gonna lose our boss. We're gonna lose the boss man, huh? Under the spreading chestnut tree. Okay. Oh! Catherine Delac- Oh, hello. Hello, Delacroix. Secretary of Security. In charge of the whole safety bill and the Orwell project. Ahem, that's interest. That's- Ha, huh, that's interesting. Good morning, investigator. Since you have the most powerful investigative tool at your disposal, I suspect you already know who I am. You, on the other hand, have been a hard-working investigator so far. You have proved Orwell is working as intended. I will be your new in advisor on this case. This has become far too important to leave the case to the advisor with an exposed identity. Um, yeah, funny story. Science as well, but no longer fit to work on Orwell. Is he though? We're a dystopian government. I don't believe that. I don't think he's well. As far as you are concerned, he never existed. With yesterday's so-called revelation about Orwell sympathizers, this terrorist group has taken to the streets. We need to show all of the n all of the nation Orwell is keeping them safe. We won't allow some fools to trample on everything we have achieved. We must get rid of the imposter pretending to be Abraham Goldfels. Find out who did it and where they are hiding. It's all gotta lead back to our hacker, right? No, not obituaries. I want headlines. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That was our boss. A quiet house in Farview has ra was ravaged by vandalism overnight as raging protesters took up arms and tried to invade the home of government employee Benjamin C. and his fiance. Color bombs and spray paint were used to deface the outer walls of the estate, along with the owner's car which was left in the driveway. The garden was trampled and several, several windows of the home were left shattered. Benjamin C. and his fiance were not home during the attack which was called in by several of their neighbors during the early hours of the morning. Just before the incident, Benjamin C. Has been, had been doxxed, a practice where online groups leak personal information on the internet with malicious intent by activist group Thought, when they claimed he was linked to a new government initiative. The project, now known as Orwell, allegedly will be used to install mass surveillance on all citizens in the nation. At this time, it remains unclear whether anti-government protesters connected to the project's reveal are involved in the crime. It's fine. It's all good. Uh -huh. Anti-Orwell protesters gather at Freedom Memorial Remains. As thought activists unveil government surveillance system Orwell, supporters gather at former Freedom Memorial. Government stays silent. Once again, Freedom Plaza has become the center of attention with over a dozen citizens protesting at the ravaged Freedom Memorial on Sunday evening. The cause of the protest is the recent unveiling of Orwell, a mass surveillance program issued in secret by the government. The information was leaked by the activist group Thought, the same group that was brought to public attention as the alleged culprits of the Bonton bombings. The group claimed in a recent blog post that they had that they had proof that the government had plans to use this system to put the population of the nation under mass surveillance. We have reached out to the government for statement about the Orwell project, but at the time of publication, we had not received a reply. More on this story as it unfolds. Uh, you do not want more story of this newspaper. Let's see. Partisan President Kazert has given the green light to resume negotiations about a re-election. This result came from it only one day of Prime Minister Blaine's visit to Triflith, and it is widely interpreted as a beacon of hope for the crisis-riddled region. Under supervision of the Prime Minister, Kasser and members of the opposition gathered at the round table in the partisan presidential palace after the talks had been discontinued last week. Experts who had mostly predicted long and difficult talks are surprised by the sudden change of mind by Kasser due to the Prime Minister's intervention. Meanwhile, the riots in Triflith went on, but decreased in intensity significantly as many followers of the opposition 
called off their planned actions at the news of the round table gathering. Maybe it was the whole tempting of fate thing naming your surveillance system after the man who wrote an incredibly thorough warning about such a thing. Yeah, huh? Funny about that. Funny story, huh? Let's see. There's Joseph Langley. That boy Langley. Oh, who's... Nina, yeah, uh... Okay, we already know about that. Thought must gather once again. From... Who is pretending to be a dead man? Who? Who is pretending to be Gunther? Homest? Members of Thought, my dear friends, as you all have experienced already, we are being besieged by the government. They have denounced us, called us terrorists, and turned the public against us. This will stop today. Their days are about to come to an end. I have a plan, but for this to work out, we must meet like we did in the old days when we had our meetings in Cafe Chestnut. We will have a conference call at 4 p.m. sharp because I'm well aware that a meeting in person won't work out for us. You need not fear surveillance. All has been taken care of. I will contact you. Get in a safe position. Be ready. From a dead man. Spooky. And then Gunther was a skeleton. Yeah. Unless this is all just like whoever Initiate is. Like, is an Initiate still the one responsible for all this? Okay. Um... I gotta know. Because even Nina got this call. Got this email. Today. Like. Yep, yeah, they all got this. They all got it. Have patience, Padawan. Ha. Huh. Maybe so, Dobbs. A gathering we know Abraham Goldfels is dead. Someone must be impersonating him. This is as clear as crystal. We must act swiftly and collect as much evidence as possible before this gathering commences. Thought is certainly up to no good. I just wonder why he sent the email to the dead lady and the dude who got arrested. Exactly. Like, if anything, with Nina. Because Nina was dead before Joseph was arrested, so... That was news before Joseph. And I don't think it was, like, public information. Or was it that Joseph Langley got arrested? As you know, processing data chunks is time-consuming. I would say we have roughly... We have time for roughly 20 data chunks. Be considerate. Ha! Oh! oh, boy. Um. Alright, everyone. We gotta focus, because we can only upload 20 data chunks. We cannot just upload everything. At least it's not on a timer, but still, only 20 data chunks. Oh, okay. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take, like, a super quick break to, like, stretch super quick, because I feel like things are gonna be getting... A little bit intense, especially since we only have 20 data chunk uploads remaining, and this is like the last episode in Orwell. So I'm gonna pause here so I can stretch and such. In fact, I would encourage everyone to stretch, and I will be right back. By the way, Jack found a Korean restaurant and now have a, my whole family hooked. Yes. Have you tried it? Did you guys try it recently? And if so, what did you have? I must know. And I found that, like, the hallmark of a good Korean restaurant is how good all their sides and kimchi is. Like, if you have bad sides at your Korean restaurant, it's probably not going to be very good food. Like, you gotta have good kimchi. We had the short ribs and the banchan was great. See, that's how you know a Korean restaurant is legit. Like, my favorite place, we call it Yo House, it has the best banchan. Oh, their kimchi is so good. And, like, they have, like, these little baby crabs. Ugh. 
But yes, the short ribs, galbi, so good. I actually had that last night. Last night? Yeah, I actually had that last night. This, ugh. My mom's galbi is so good. I love the marinade. But I'm really glad that you found a good Korean restaurant and you got your whole family hooked. Because not to be like biased or anything, but Korean food may be the best food. Although, I also love me some tacos because I'm hella Californian. Anyways, let's start reading some data from Marka to Harrison. Alright. Let's see. Harrison, where are you? There you are. Ghosting, you must think I'm stupid. First, you don't tell me where you are going because you need a ghost. Then hours later, you don't answer your phone. So, I called Perth asking for you and she told me you were at Cyber Cafe Chestnut yesterday evening. Said you stormed in, then furiously wrote something on your PC. Prop this outrageous blog post the news speaks of. The news speaks of. Then stormed back out the door only to meet whom? Juliet. Meaning, you're back in action with this shitty group. And her, I cannot fucking believe it. So now I'm trying email so you can't dodge me any longer. You and me, we're done. I mean it. And Spanish and Cajun. Then a lot of Chinese food is good. Then Japanese food is really good. I just love food, my guy. Bruh, exactly. Like, I love a lot of food, okay? And just like, I'm, I love me some Indian food too. Because like, my older sister, she she married into some Indian food and it is also good. So I can get that really good Korean mom food and then that really good Indian mom food and it's also good. I love food. I want to try an Indian restaurant. I hope you can find a really good one. Just, ugh. I, I love food. That's all I can say. If I had more money, I would be a foodie. Get some good hummus and some good curry dishes. Yes, I love hummus. Hummus is one of my favorite snacks. Like, either with some really good bread or just plain ass saltine crackers. And I am happy because usually the hummus is just super bomb. Love their flatbread, right? Just, ugh. Like, not to be carbs on main, but I love bread. In fact, I had a little bit of bread during the break. Cause my maid, cause my mom made some focaccia, and I'm all about some flatbread. I just love bread. I love carbs. Okay. Like, if I, if I eventually get the diabetes that runs in my family, I will just accept a diabetic coma, cause I cannot part with the carbs at this point in my life. Find a good authentic Italian restaurant going to take my mom to next month? Yes! Mm, bless up. For us, we got this like mom and pop Italian place and it's so good. Like, if we don't go one time, so we hadn't been to, we hadn't been there in a super long time, mostly because like, you know, money and also like, it's mostly like, you know, it's legit Italian and it's mostly just like pasta and such. So we don't go often enough. And a couple years ago, we went to our Italian place again. So it was just me, my older sister, and my dad. Because mom was out in Korea for a bit. And uh, when we went to our Italian place after maybe a year of not going, um... We got guilted by the whole family that owns the restaurant. And it was brutal, man. We got mom guilted. We got the, oh, it's been so long. How you guys been? But the worst of all was owner chef going over, shaking dad's hand and going, so, did you move? And that was brutal. So we have to go to our Italian place every once in a while so we don't go through that kind of guilt. Because he knew damn well we did not move. So yeah, that was brutal. And that's why we have to go more often. And in fact, we have to go pretty soon. Otherwise, we're going to get guilted again. <clears throat> the Chinese restaurant we go to did that to me today? Oh no, I'm so sorry. We have a Chinese place. Well, Sichuan Chinese. And uh, if anything, so we usually don't like 
go to that restaurant anymore. We usually just like, we use DoorDash to have the food delivered to us because dad isn't a big fan of Chinese food. So when my sister comes up from LA, we go to our Sichuan place and so it's older sister, mom and I, and she, the dude always comes by and says hi to us in that place and just knows that when mom and I are there, that means the older sister has come down, has come up to visit. And again, so where I live there, there's a Chinese place like every couple of buildings. And that Sichuan place is the best Chinese restaurant in the whole town. No exaggeration. Uh, ironically, for being such a multicultural nation where I'm at in Canada, it doesn't have an awful lot of authentic cultural foods. Ugh, cake, I would not be able to live there. Uh, I can't. Uh, I order the wings and some stir-fried udon. Mmm, udon's good. Shoot, wish we had different regions. We just got this one place I found every dish is so good. Yes, I just, ugh. I love food. I love food so much. In fact, as soon as I finish this game and finish stream, I got some food waiting for me because we got a wing place that's really good. I'm just, ugh. So they got this like Malaysian curry flavor. It is so good. It is so good. I got those wings waiting for me in the fridge as soon as I'm done with this game. And I love food. I would so become a foodie if I didn't have like a complicated relationship with tomatoes and I'm not a fan of mushrooms no idea why by all accounts I should like mushrooms but I don't I mean I I don't know why but I'm not a fan of the mushroom texture I don't know why it doesn't make sense cuz like I love me some intestines but I can appreciate the flavor of a mushroom the importance of the mushroom same thing with onions. I don't like onions, but I appreciate the onion. I know the importance of it. I know why you must cook with the onion. I know why it is an essential building block of the pyramid of food. You need the onion, otherwise your food will not be so good. The onion and garlic, they're BFFs. Just like how it's BFFs with celery and carrots in France. Like, I understand onions are important, but I do not like onions for some reason, and that's one of the reasons why I can't be a foodie. I don't like onions and mushrooms, and they are, like, essential to food, and I know this. And again, I have a complicated relationship with tomatoes. Sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't. You know what I'm saying? It's weird. I don't understand it. Again, I love food. Anyways, uh, I think it's important and according to this game that we upload this bit of information about Harrison. This is where Harrison O'Donnell did his dirty work, probably thinking we, could, we would not be able to track him down. We will track him down. I've got information we have on the remaining suspects regarding the impersonation of Abraham Goldfells. He predicted the bombings this alone makes him suspicious. We have no idea why he hit the post on the thought blog and his timeline. We are yet to clarify why he would be frequenting a drugstore so often. Survival supplies, perhaps? Why would, he, why would he have two health insurances? It is apparent that Harrison O'Donnell might well be part of the Boughton bombings. He is probably the one impersonating Goldfells. I want you to prove this and lock him away for good. And we do not need this. We can disable that. We don't care. Uh, once I get my new job, I'll be trying more places out. Go... Gotta get the things I need to get it next Tuesday? Yes. You can do it, Dobbs. Uh, pretty awesome dim sum place in the city. Kind of a ways away, but so good. Ooh, I, I wish we had a dim sum place. But we don't. It makes me sad. We'd have to drive out to get some dim sum. Uh, not far, but it's not like in my immediate area that there's dim sum. Wait. Yeah, we don't have dim sum. But we do have a hot pot place. Haven't tried it yet, but we do have hot pot. I really want to go. The Chinese place I go to will do dim sum next year, and I can't wait. Bless up. Yes. I love food. 
Lucky no hot pots here? Yeah, we got a hot pot place. Ooh, and I have this, like, bubble tea place. It's a little further away than my, like, my go-to that's local. But they have really good ramen. Like, it's hella legit broth. And they also have shabu shabu. It's so good. Like, it's not the best shabu shabu, but they still have it. Taro dumplings? Otherworldly? I have a kill for some right now? Ooh, those sound so good. Ooh, I haven't been to our dumpling place nearby. Like, we have a dumpling restaurant pretty close by. It's like a 35 minute walk for me. Because I do my walking because I don't drive because I suck. And like, the dumplings are so good. And the soup dumplings there are so legit. I love soup dumplings. And the near con the mere concept of a soup dumpling amazes me. Like the work that has to be put into it to have the soup in them and the soup is so good there. I'll love me some dumplings. I love food so much and I'm getting hungrier the more I talk about food. So, whoops. Huh. Oh, it is fat that makes the soup. Is it? Like, I know I've seen, like... I watched a show on Netflix about how they make the soup dumplings. But I can't remember which one. Because I watch a lot of Netflix shows. Not, like, all of them, obviously. And there's still so many that I need to watch on Netflix. Like, there's a taco... Netflix special I need to watch and oh I need to uh, I love learning cultures through food right me too dogs you get me like it's so great and for me it's like so where I live it's hella diverse so like it's just always been that way so there's I've always had so many kinds of food and I love trying to find similarities that they share you know what I'm saying like, it's interesting that it seems every culture has some form of dumpling. Every culture has some form of flatbread. It, it, I, I don't know, I just find it interesting. Yeah, I'm not a Cali fan with the expensiveness, but they have hella good food. Yeah. I know it's expensive to live in California. But, you know, right now, I'm still living with my parents, so it's fine. I can manage to still live in California. And I live in, like, a very diverse area of California in the Central Valley, so I get all the foods. And I want all of the food right now. I wish I could just travel around the world and just eat food. That's the dream. And, like, having the money to travel and go to Michelin star restaurants? Ugh. I wish. I wish I could. Like, if I could, I would be going to Michelin star restaurants all over the place. One day I will be able to. That's the, that's how you do it, Dobbs. Just one day I will be able to. Oh man, I'm hungry. Let's see. So this is the cyber, cyber thingy. Load host. Meet your host, aka Persephone. Do we care about Persephone? No, we do not. We don't need you, Persephone. Rattlesnake. Marka. Oh, hello, Marka. Marka was dating Harrison here. And she is an active host at this Cyber Cafe Chestnut. I'm a simple man. I don't need a Michelin star, just a spring roll, maybe some, maybe samosa. That's fair. I just, I want to try all the street food, and I also want to try all the hella bougie Michelin star restaurants. You know what I'm saying? Just need to get this new job and start getting properties and renting them out and selling them. You do it. I believe in you, dogs. You can do it. Get the money, get the food. That is the dream. And also, like, basic human needs if you, like, really bear it down and not just in a foodie way. Um, yeah, I want to try all of it. Get the money, get the food. Oh! 
we definitely need your computer. Thanks, Harrison. Yeah, I plan to be able to retire at 35. That's the dream, man. I feel that. Honestly, the dream dream would be to just, for me, retire at like 25. <laughs> but I, that's like, just joking around. Cause like, I know that's not actually practical, so. And just travel and eat until I die. Right, that's all I want to do, Dobbs. I want to travel and eat and sometimes go to Disneyland. Because I used, my family used to go to Disneyland every year, but we haven't gone in a couple because, you know, expensive. But I want to be able to travel, eat, go to Disneyland. Maybe all the Disney parks. Someday. Also, I just realized I wasn't thinking when I uploaded this uploaded this data junk. I just now noticed that. Whoops. Oh, uh, where the hell are you? Why did you leave Abe's? Our plan was to hide somewhere until we're no longer public enemies number one and two. Yeah, that was before I found out what you did. You exposed a government employee. Take a close look at what happened. They're after us now for sure. Was that necessary? Look at the TMB. We have developed the following. If they prosecute us now, there will be public outcry. This tiny crowd with their banners won't stop a thing. We'll be gone forever once they get us. This is why I had to leave. Did you get Abraham's email? Yeah, that was crazy. I know all of a sudden he is back and he has a plan. I can't believe it. Where was he the whole time? Will you attend this gathering? Could be impersonating Abe. If Abe is there, we must attend. I will hide away someplace. I can call in for my notebook. You should do the same. Don't hide anywhere you have been to in the last 24 hours. You might check there first. We'll do. My damn phone is gone, just like you disappeared this morning. You haven't seen it by chance. Jesus, can you not take care of your stuff? No, I have not seen your phone. Oh, fuck it. Try to track it down, but it doesn't send a signal. Probably out of battery or something. Yeah, whatever, I'll go without it until the gathering. Yeah, until the gathering. Well, if you make 40k a month in rentals plus flipping properties, then yeah. Well, I guess I got a job to do. <laughs> okay, um, I think it's important to have that Julia is hiding somewhere where she has not stayed before in the last 24 hours. Because we kind of need to try and find her. So that might be important. A useful hint, if you encounter any hints to hideout locations, be sure to validate them by checking where they have stayed before first. I got you. I got you, Delacroy. I got you. As you may or may not have heard- wait. Oh, this is from his opinions job for the newspaper. As you may or may not have heard, I have been affiliated with a group called Thought in the past. I thought I might as well blow that right into your face before some data miner does and claims shit. Yeah, let them claim shit if they love worth a shit all that much. Once upon a time, there was a daft punk who sought to build an activist group, but failed awfully. The moral of the story is your activism isn't worth shit, because peeps just don't care. As you may or may not have heard, the TMB office is a bunch of cocksuckers, at least now you know. Don't say you haven't been warned. That's my goal, is to have 50 rentals, make me 40k a month, and we'll have, plen pl have play money with flipping houses. I can feel that. Dobbs. I get it. Let's see. Thought. Okay, we read that. We know about that. Yes. Bia yeah, says yes. Help, I need to surprise my girlfriend today. Blah, blah, blah. Search for Benjamin Cossigen. Okay. I don't think we need to upload this to his profile. Because... Well... Because it could tie him into being with the hacker. I'll wait before uploading that. Oh yeah, there's plenty of properties for everyone to buy and rent out since no one wants to buy houses anymore. Yeah, basically every house in my neighborhood is being rented out. 
especially the ones like on either side of us those are rentals and that's why our fence is kind of collapsing because we need we need help to get new fences and now it's just kind of like all on us to fix the fence that is literally falling apart Okay, and he said his phone was dying, so I'm not sure I'm gonna add that just yet. Because he said his phone died. That's nice. Hi, oh, Juliet Carrington. I don't think we have your email. I don't think we got your email. Yeah, give me your email. Thank you, Juliet. Hey you, I just wanted to thank you for your support of my blog post for the thought. I have the feeling that Nina does not really like me. I hope I didn't do anything wrong. Frankly, she scares me a bit. You know, I didn't want to occupy her spot in thought. If you want if you want to, we can meet tomorrow at Cafe Chestnut and talk about our great success at Stelligan, the next big thing. Everything besides Nina. I mean, I study at the campus, you work there, so we're neighbors anyway. Are you in? Julia, aka Dixon. I think we need to know about her little nickname, Dixon. Well, and now we have this little chat between Juliet and Initiate. Oh, you're this hacker guy Harrison spoke about then, right. Who is initiate? So you hacked the thought blog. We've you've been following us around. Why? What do you want? What I want? Uh, what I, I want to know what happened to thought. These bombings have been ringing in my head, and I just don't know. Was this thought's work? Was it a government setup? Listen, I don't know either. I'm sorry, but shit is majorly going down the drain right now. If you can help us, do it, please. My help got you where you are right now. You helped to dox this costigen. Harrison told me you wouldn't want to assist us. Don't talk so openly, or did you forget what's going on? And I think we already knew he helped with it. Don't talk so openly, or did you forget what's going on? Right, sorry. Can you, can you do that again? What you did? Nope. Barely got the last time. I need more intel on this thing. At the moment, I don't see a way. Damn. So, what are you doing? Oh, you don't know yet. Abraham Goldfels, who founded Thought, sent us a message. Thought should, Thought should gather once more. What? Abe is back? Yeah, and he says he has a plan. You know him? Kinda. Where from? Coincidence. Look, if you know Abraham, why don't you attend this gathering as well? It's going down 4 p.m. as conference call. Give me your number and I will invite you as well. No. Thanks, but no thanks. Sounds like a trap to me. You shouldn't attend either. I'm pretty positive it's not. The email sounded authentic. But have it your way. I will. Good luck with this gathering. Good luck to you with finding out what's going on here. You're going to need it. Okay, so we already know he attacked Orwell. Foreign vlogger. Okay, so according to Orwell stuff, like the actual database, they don't know that Harrison and Initiate were responsible for doxing our former boss, Symes, aka Benjamin, here. So I think we should upload this. This Initiate is a nuisance. You must reveal his true identity. This might shed some light on what his motives are. I will. I'm trying, boss. I'm trying. 
Entry 7, A Night to Remember. Published by Dixon. Oh, what's up, Juliet? <laughs> Our protest at Stelligan was a lively gathering of open-minded people. Students, teachers, professors, and others formed a bright and colorful crowd. I've got to admit, to admit, when Abraham asked me to join Thought, I wasn't sure what to think of it. Join an activist group? That's not a thing for me. Sure, not everything is fine, but organizing protests in the streets isn't that a bit much. But I knew Abraham as he was my professor for media ethics at Stelligan, and so I trusted him. I said yes, but it wouldn't stop there. Harrison and Nina left the event planning to me. Me, who had never done anything close to this before. Whew, actually, a pretty scary, sca pretty scary task, as both Abraham and I were closely tied to Stelligan University. My suggestion was to organize a peaceful protest there, slowly raise awareness among students. They would most likely be more open-minded, prone to question the authority and the government, wouldn't they? Indeed, the protest went off without a hitch. Stelligan's president even permitted us to hold the protest on campus grounds, and close to 100 students, provided I didn't miscount, participated many of them just joining in as they were walking by and wanted to know more. There was no conflict, no fear, just support. People were still talking about it a week later in the halls of Stelligan, and for me personally, it turned out to be a night to remember. Jules, let me say the important thing first, you did great. That's why we chose you for this. You even thought of making sure every everything could get home after the protest by organizing an extra bus. Anyway, I already got an idea for what's next. Take things out of the streets, literally. Not the university streets. More like the streets streets. Then you can help us organize that as well. Thanks, Harry. After this, I'm confident and I might be able to organize something bigger for the next time. The streets are probably not the best choice. Too unsafe. But I'll come up with something. Juliet, I don't want to offend you, you're new and you did a good job, but this simply isn't enough. Our petty protest doesn't matter on national scale. That's the simple truth. With a pace like, the like this, the government will have erected their oppressive machinery before we even get to the streets. Nina, you know I think likewise, and in the end, you're right. Our next thing will be much bigger. We'll make the news for sure. But we need to be smart about it. Smart like Julesy. And that's why I want her to plan the next thing as well. I understand you, Nina. I'll do my best to get things right and safe. At the moment, I am thinking of Freedom Plaza. Pretty much everything we need space-wise there. Would that be okay for everyone? I like the way you read, very calming. Oh, thank you. Thank you. The only thing I know about my reading is that back in the days of elementary school, I was told I was a good reader because we had to do like the reading out loud tests for like a minute or two and I always got good results. Not to brag, but in elementary school I was apparently a good reader and that's all I really had to go by. But thank you. I'm glad to hear my reading is calming. I've once had someone jokingly suggest that I do um, uh, reading stuff. Yeah, I was made of made fun of for dyslexia. Gotcha, and that makes sense. I under like I understand how, and I'm sorry for that, Dobbs. Wait, I already read this. Yeah, that's right. It's fine, and thanks. Yeah, he's like, I'm so sorry. Anyways, uh, Juliet. We should add that she planned the protest at Stelligan, because I think that's new. Let's see, background, met Gunther Aarons online, had a rough start since 2017. Studied. I mean, we had that she was an organizer. Now I just hit them with the jokes back. Valid. I feel that. I understand. Let's see, plan freedom. I think we should add this, cause that means she has planned two protests from thought. So I think we should upload this one.
Huh? Who is impersonating Gunther? Holmes. Initiate, I need to apologize to you for remaining silent for such a long time. I've been working out a plan in hiding. Today I need to call upon your help to make it happen. I am aware of your capabilities and skills. You need to stop trying to tear down walls instead, instead shifting to running through open doors. Here's where to find one. 4 p.m. today. Homest, unless the, unless someone is like faked to death, so they're going to try and attack Orwell once again. Well, let them come. Half our time is up. Stay diligent and considerate. I'm trying. I'm doing my best, boss. See, life trust family. Wait. Has special health insurance covering family members. Ooh, we probably want to know about that. So here's his. So is there a way we can find his family? It might be worth getting into his phone. Whoops, that was the wrong one. We should try to get into his phone. I think his phone is dead, but cuz that's what he's that's what he told Juliet, I believe. Oh. Oh, what do you know? Someone did a bad job of finding his phone again. Good, keep an eye on her as well. I know, I'm doing my job, boss. From Victor Rosen. This is her boss, and also the person in charge of um, timelines, I believe. Julia Victor here, oh, hey Victor. I just talked to Maria. Why are you not at work? Oh, I sent a sick note. Didn't you re- No, you did not. You were here the entire weekend. That's what the tracker says, but no one authorized you to do so. Now that you are meant to be here, you are not. Also, what is SP blah blah registered on your account? This device ID does not belong to a company approved device. Huh, <laughs> give me that. You will explain your record. I want you in my office as soon as possible. Okay, I don't think I want to upload the overtime thing just now. Now, what else does Harrison have? What do you have on your phone? So that's why he has all the health insurance. Because of his mom. He's living with his mom. I see you. Julia, yeah. Anything else? No, okay. Harrison's the one faking? Because I think if we go to listener... I am sorry. Nina, I am truly sorry for having drawn the investigator's attention to you. But frankly, you overstepped the boundaries of your, our agreement. The bombs are meant as a warning to those who are indifferent. A beacon of remembrance to our message that the thoughts must always be free. They were not meant to kill. Once again, you disappoint me with your insurmountable hatred and rage. Consider our agreement void. Abraham Goldfells. Hold up. 
Uh, that is definitely important. It was Harrison O'Donnell after all. Well done, investigator. Make sure we have all relevant locations where he might be hiding in his profile so we can make an arrest. I'm trying. I'm trying, boss. Stop putting all this pressure on me. Like, I get it's my job, but you gotta stop with the pressure. This is already a lot. Oh boy, okay. So there's his house. Oh boy, this, this should be fun. April 17th, went to Stelligan New. Okay, what were you planning? Juliet, where are you? Hey, Dad, I'm at work. Looks like I've missed a lot. Yeah, okay. Um. So, I think the biggest things... Let's see. Oh my gosh. It, there has been a lot. Because we're, we're nearing the end of Orwell Avatar. Um... So our former advisor, Symes, he got doxxed by the hacker Initiate, who is now working with Thought, which is, the, which is the activist group involving Harrison, Juliet, Cassandra, and others, but mostly those three, they're the big ones. Abraham, also known as Gunther, he was missing, and we went looking for him through information, but we found out he was dead. However, we found that Harrison here, he's been writing emails pretending to be Abraham Goldfells. Um, so, boss was docs. We're now working directly under the Secretary of Security, Delacroix. Uh, we can only upload a certain amount of data chunks. We had 20 up and, and that's how much time we had left until the 4 o'clock conference call between the surviving members of Thought and Abraham. Um, their Abra Abraham and Initiate are supposedly planning another attack on Orwell because they first attacked Orwell and that's how they released information about the project to the public and um, that's how they doxed Symes anyways. Uh, that's okay, I'll figure it out by either reading the wiki or getting the game. That's fair, that's fair, because it's definitely a good game. Or again, there will always be the VOD, and I am going to highlight it, so it'll be here forever. But yeah, a lot has happened, Avatar. And we're getting close to our deadline, with the only six data chunk uploads remaining, until the 4 o'clock conference call between the surviving members of Thought, and we have to try to find where they will meet, or where certain members are. Okay, and then Abraham apparently works at Rosen, okay. But I'm not sure if we need that right now. A sister. This is Cassandra talking. Gallery. We don't need that. Contacts. Goldfells. Goldfels is dead. What do you expect to happen on his phone? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That's the home phone. Oh, no. Oh, no. I made a mistake. Oh, oh. It's fine. We're fine. We're okay. It's fine. Swing locations of the last 24 hours. Oh boy. Um, I almost feel like I should write down the addresses that Harrison and Juliet have from locations of the last 24 hours. Like, I feel like that will be important. Wait, Orchard Drive. Orchard Drive. We heard that from Nina. It's fine, I'll pick Michael up from the corner at Orchard Drive. So there's that. Uh, her phone. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna write. I can just write it on a little note card here. Okay. 
because I feel like all of these are gonna be important and this will be easier because we only have five data chunk uploads. So yeah, 11, Stelligan, so that's the school. 401, Malloy, Port, 16, Hen Street, one Rosen. That should be her job, but apparently she hadn't been at work yet. So hold on. Work, no show. And then 22 Porta Bello Road. And then separate one for Harrison here. I'm gonna find the real person responsible, okay? Because I'm a good dystopian government worker. Okay, so there's the school again, but I doubt they go there again as a hideout because there was already the bombing a few days ago at the school and they've already held demonstrations at Stelligan University. So I doubt they'd be going there. Because this is apparently for the, um, uh, what's the word? I'm blinking. Pretend I didn't say anything because I forgot what I was saying mid-sentence, not gonna lie. Penn Street, 16, and then outskirts where he lives with his mom in a trailer. Okay, and then, let's see, so Portobello, that is with, that's uh, Goldfell, so gold, yeah, gold, and then, yeah, so far they've both been to the university, Goldfell's house, and Penn Street. So what's important about Penn Street? Do we know about that yet? No, not that button. We don't, we never had an address with her. Nina was in the industrial quarters. Benjamin was Oak Drive. Juliet, Juliet is on Malloy Court. So, I'll put home for Malloy Court. I'm gonna get down. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this, okay? I'm a good dystopian government worker. Okay, and Penn Street. Did I write Penn? No, I don't have Penn Street yet. Okay, where is it? I am very much determined. Let's see, and then his office is on Canterbury Square. Huh. Where? Where can I find you guys? Because I'm going to. It's just a matter of time. Is there anything new with your browser history? No, okay. Stelligan? No. Rosen? I don't think there's anything new, okay. I only have five data chunks, so I'm trying really hard to be like super careful. Okay, disable. I don't think we really care that his phone is missing in terms of uploading it. Yeah. And then where is the lobby? Do we have an address on where 
Chestnut Cafe is. Cafe Chestnut, whatever. Let's see, reader. Is there a way to just search? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Not a national beholder. Not missing purpose. Persons, debate club. Let's see. Cafe Chestnut on Stelligan Campus. Okay, uh, just on campus. That seems important. But where it, but what is Penn Street? What's 16 Penn Street? What? Because both Harrison and Juliet have been there. But why? Donald Harrison, let's see. Do we have anything that's helpful here? No, we do not. Okay, so we can close First Bank of the Nation. Profile? No. Contact. Yeah, that's still Canterbury Square. I can close law offices. We don't need the army. Don't need that. No. No. Welcome. Let's see, let's see. You're probably just on Rosen whatever. Whatever it was. Rosen Plaza, I believe. Let's see. No, the band is split up. We don't care about the targets. We can close Rosen Tech. We don't need Stelgen University. Let's see, what is up with Watergate, maybe? Anything useful here? Doesn't seem like it. No, no, no. I don't care about that. Let's see here. Okay, I'll just go back to Cyber Cafe Chestnut. Load high scores. Let's see. Uh, none of that is helpful at all. What's up with you, Rattlesnake? Active house, blah blah blah, okay. And then Marka here. She she was she was dating Harrison until he started ghosting her and then she sent that email breaking up with him. However, she is a host at Cyber Cafe Chestnut. And we know that Goldfell or Goldfell reached out to initiate to do another attack on Orwell. What could it be? Uh, I only have five data chunks. I don't know how important this thing is about Goldfell's having worked at Rosentech though. That's the thing. I don't think it's that important. I don't think I need this information that he looked up Benjamin Costigan. Because we already know that he got Initiate's help through this profile here. Yeah, see, Assisted Harrison O'Donnell in revealing personal data of Benjamin Costigan. Hmm, yeah, I can close that. So, system, browser history. Whoa. That was weird. Browser history. And disable. Okay, the thought, thought, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that all, that all adds up. Device offline, yeah, so I can close those. Okay, I... No, that's not important. We need to find where they are. We, It's not that important that he's living with his mom and is paying for life insurance, health insurance, whatever. And we don't need Cassandra's... Wait. Maybe we do. Because we can still access her phone? And that might get us the information we need. Okay. Boss didn't yell at us for it.
So we have her phone number. Wait, no, that doesn't help us still. Duh. For data chunk? Yeah. And I got a little mixed up because not gonna lie, I'm low-key panicking because it's a because of this low number. So like, mmm. Okay. Okay, button. I'm not coming. Okay, okay. What happens when you hit zero? You just go straight to jail? Uh, no. We're, we just have to move on to finding who is responsible. Oh, jeez. Okay, um. So, it's possible Harrison is still at his mom's place. Because his phone said he went to outskirt camping. And he lives in a trailer with his mom. And it sounds like he may have gone to see her because she is not doing too hot based on these text messages. Because it says, Jake here, we're good, Harry. Oh, geez, thanks a ton, Jake. Never mind. So, it is possible. But I doubt he would still be there as a hideout. And she wouldn't be going to work for a hideout. Okay. So probably not outskirts. Not Rosen. Oh. I think we could put Orchard Drive down. Okay, map. So she, so I doubt she'd be hiding at home, cause that would be the first place I would be looking if I was a gov, if I was a dystopian government. The first place I would be looking is like a person's home. So like she's probably not there. Let's see. Let me. I'll put down Portobello Road because that was, um, that was Goldfell's home. So that might be good information to have. Let's see, activity. Plan a protest, hiding somewhere where she has not stayed before in the last 24 hours. Price emails, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It might be, I, I don't know. Maybe we should add. Ugh. That seems unusual. Why was she at work then? It's almost 4 p.m. We will most likely only have time for one more upload. Make sure it counts. Oh, I'm trying. This, it's hard to be a dystopian government worker, okay? It's a lot of work. That's still not important information. I don't know what I should upload last. Because I don't know what happens at 4 o'clock specifically. I just know shit will be going down. I don't think it's important we care yeah we don't care about his family we do not care in this instance uh, at four o'clock is a conference call between all remaining members of thought exactly and that's all i know and we're trying to stop them so 
Okay, you know what? Maybe we should add that Goldfells worked at Rosen Technologies because Juliet is PR assistant at Rosen. She was there at within 24 hours according to her phone tracker and she was working overtime despite not being told to do so. And on the day she was supposed to be there, she didn't show up. So maybe we should add that he that Gunther Aarons once worked at Rosen. But it's a Lee, it's something. I was wrong. My logic was flawed. I'm sorry, boss. I'm getting intervention teams ready to check all the locations you've mentioned. Now to wait and see what happens. What's going on? Oh no. I've made mistakes. I've made mistakes. I'm a bad government worker. Have your fun, initiate. I am so stressed. Hello, is this working? Anybody here? Well, I am. Harry, I didn't know if you would still be around. Seems neither Cassandra or Joseph are here. Ha, huh, did you really expect otherwise? I don't know, somehow. Holy crap. What is this? Who are you? A fool who is baffled by the madness he just witnessed. Otherwise initiate. Well, glad you decided to join us. That's completely unintended. What do you mean? You're in the call, aren't you? Yeah, I'm also in Orwell. In Orwell, Abe sent me an IP address to get into Orwell. It makes hacking the damn thing incredibly easy. He did what? And that worked? Like a charm, I now kind of control the damn thing. It's really, really worrying. Come again, you have Orwell on a freaking leash? Fucking great, how does that worry you? My control is limited and the government will get the control back at some point. But this isn't my primary concern. What makes me nervous is why would Abraham have such extensive knowledge of Orwell? This whole thing reeks of an enormous trap. And this is the point where it gets even worse. I had a quick look at his file. You would not believe what it says. Abraham is dead. He died quite some time ago. Dead? No. Abraham how? He was very sick. Cancer. Ugh, you old fool. Why couldn't you tell us? He gave Nina the orders for the bombings after his demise. This means... This means someone has been setting her up real bad. And not only her, all of us. Who the fuck would do such a thing? I'm not getting info on who or why. What a pity, but it does prove my point. Wait, what do you mean, Jules? It was me. I set you up. Wait a sec, I can't fucking believe this, where this is going. Are you for real? Are you, are you telling me you told Nina to place those bombs? I did. I'm not proud of it, but it had to be done. What the hell, why? You and Nina, you two ruined everything for Abraham and for thought. So you decided that leaving me wasn't enough for revenge. You had to kill innocent fucking people and blame it on all of thought. It was necessary. Only when things are at their darkest will people listen, take note, and actually enact change. Abe knew that. I know it was extreme. Extreme? It's goddamn murder. I know, damn it. Believe me, I know. Your actions really screwed the members of Thought. Screwed them real good. Most of all, Nina. How can you justify that? What did you do all this for? Thought needed to be destroyed. That was the whole point of its formation. Instead of seeking me out and arresting me, Orwell labeled you all target persons and investigated you all. Screwed up your lives. People need to see how fucked up Orwell is. It's not protection. It's invasive and manipulative doom for everyone. No one is innocent. Everyone is a suspect. Abe wanted to make the world stand up against things like Orwell. He knew how dangerous the project was, that's why he worked on it. He did what? He worked on Orwell? This confirms what I feared, but I didn't want to believe it. If so, he could have gone to the media and make it all public, couldn't he? He was afraid. He thought nothing would ever change if he did. Can you blame him? He told me everything, and only me. Funny, I just realized you're actually a much better yet much worse activist than Nina or me could ever be. 
That's admirable in a strange and very fucked up way. I still don't get it. Why try all of- why draw all of this attention to thought? You didn't convince anyone by your actions. Why this gathering? Why let me hack Orwell? I just needed to convince one person how faulty Orwell was. Costigan, the guy Harry leaked information about, was a man on the inside, only an advisor. The person who has really been spying you is still around. The person who actually went through your stuff passed on the data. The one listening right now, the investigator. That's right, I'm talking to you. I knew you had to be around when everyone would come together. You had to be listening. Initiate was just a windfall, a chance to make sure you're not immediately go up against us. Investigator, I have a question for you. Now that you saw Orwell firsthand, do you really think that the system will help anyone? Did you think the government would not spy on you as well? Did you think you were outside the system? Think again, they evaluate you. Abe knew that. He saw the madness. They evaluate even you, the investigators. But you can stop it. Remember, you became recruited for being outside the system, outside the nation. What if we show people what they store about you? That even you are not outside the system. That no one is outside the system. All you need to do, investigator, is upload the data they have on you incriminating yourself. This is so, so mind-bogglingly stupid, Jules. Why would the investi investigator cooperate? The government will come after them. That's exactly the point. This evaluation is supposed to be a safety net so that no one misuses Orwell. Acting on evidence is mandatory. If the investigator incriminates themselves, they will be forced to prosecute them and reveal this evidence that the investigators are actually being spied on as well publicly. That is absolutely mad. I don't see this working. I would like to offer an alternative investigator. It just so happens that a certain Catherine Delacroix in this is in this files too. I say we make use of the fact that we have control over Orwell. Let's use it as a weapon and turn it against the government. There's nothing dirty to be found about Mrs. Delacroix for sure. Let them act on that evidence. Now we're talking. No, hurting Delacroix won't help much. She is just going to get replaced. This isn't the right way. Oh yeah, and fucking us, all, fucking us all up was the right way then. Bullshit. But how can we trust this investigator to help us? What the hell? How do they find fuck? Harrison, what's going on? User quit the session. Seems he just fell prey to this great surveillance system. It's down to the two of us, as it seems. Well, my plan to gather support for you failed, investigator. But if you still want to fulfill my plan, go on and give Delacroix hell. You will find something dirty. Investigator, it's time to make up your mind. You can tear down the entire system. Just complete my plan, please. I will turn Delacroix into a target person. I think I can easily ac activate access to her PC for you as well. When Abraham stopped his work for Rosentech and the government, he cloned all the information he had and hid it in this office. He told me and I maintained it. The system is programmed to boot itself again in a couple of minutes. You'll have access to everything. You just need to find the UID of the device. I cannot tell you here now that Orwell isn't tracking data chunks. I have full understanding if you judge and incriminate me for what I've done. I think I deserve it. It's up to you now, investigator. Do the right thing. Finally, I've thought this disturbance would never end. The back-end engineer says we've had an unwanted guest. We already know it was thought. It's about time to undo them. We must be strong. We must show these people for what they are. The nation's safety is depending on it. Find a way to incriminate them together as a group. All we need is a hint that Abraham Goldfels intended this group to carry out terrorist actions. We could trace the attack back to a remote PC. I will now manually unlock this PC for you. Bruh. Uh, bruh. Big bruh moment. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, this wasn't a short bite-sized game at all. Oh, absolutely not. And oh my god, it is seven hours in. Oh my god. Why couldn't I just break this up? Why didn't I just leave this for Friday? Oh my god. I gotta look. How did you- why are you looking at my computer? You're supposed to trace the source of the intrusion. Leave my PC alone now. You would not want to be a, assessed as a traitor, would you? Why- why can't I look at both? Is there a way to bring Orwell down and send Juliet to jail? Oh, uh, 
I don't, I don't think so. Boomer streamer looking at the computer. How dare you? I am just struggling, okay? Cause I gotta make decisions as a dystopian government worker, okay? That's how this works, Julia. Can't be a boomer if she's an e-girl. Huge boomer energy, how dare you? I will not tolerate this disrespect, okay? Okay, hold on, how? Okay, um... Okay, how, how do we get the stuff from this here? The open door. Okay, that's the IP address. Arguably, Juliet is right. She just so happens to be a murderer and therefore, I don't know. Exactly. Like, she's got a point, but she did kind of murder people. And, you know, bombings, bombings are usually not okay. Like, as a general rule, bombings are not okay. Just blanket statement. Murder is bad. But, like, I, I want to bring down Orwell, and I think to do that, Thing to do that we need to like um find the device thing where is it yeah this murder is bad and other hot takes from space ace 3 exactly exactly this is my hot take murder is bad Julia is a member of the IRA <laughs> give her a medal Dang. Okay, um. Okay, so maybe it's on Juliet's computer. Right? If she said she cloned the shit. Know me in person. Put a USB drive and material yes somewhere on her desk. It's tons of documents. Come on. Demiurge. I'll send the authorization key to access the request info separately. How about he black and tans Juliet? Probably. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Uh. Architect thing. The only other person who could get those that quickly. Okay, um. Um, 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 um. Maybe Demiurge is important. Maybe that's how we can bring down, find his shit. Oh, Demiurge. What could that mean? Well, maybe we go back to her phone. Let's look at her phone. Not important. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't know what to do. How can we get the things to like bring down Orwell? Remember to but I know upload data they have on you. How do I get to it? You know what? This is see as advanced as Orwell might be, it won't gather much from a switched off PC. Goodbye, investigator. Soon you will find yourself wishing you had listened to my warnings. Okay. So what? One call gold fell. Orwell. Huh. Demiurge. 
that's Im that's gonna be important because oh, oh, we need Demiurge because Juliet told us to look for Goldfell's shit to like bring down Orwell and we saw her asking about Demiurge and here's Harrison Okay, I was right that he was hiding at Orchard Drive at least. <laughs> okay, um, 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 flawed. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Oppenheimer quoted when he realized he had made the nuclear bomb possible. For the first time, I feel I truly understand what he meant. I know it's impossible to stop progress. I thought I could change what was coming, control the inevitable. From within, I cannot. I made a mistake. I must quit at once. The only thing I can do is to seek redemption, so let this be my confession. I, Abraham Goldfels, developed the so-called Ethical Codex for a project codenamed Demiurge, which has been renamed Orwell, and I have proof for everything I'm about to write cloned to a vice with a UID, that big number, Orwell is the most sinister project I can think of, a system to spy on every last citizen in the nation. My intention was to govern this highly invasive project by applying strong ethical constraints on what it can access and has that access is granted and how that access is granted. I was given a lot of freedom in this regard, yet that was not enough. Seeing this thing is in action, I can only look at myself in disgust for being so naive that I ignored the danger that was staring me in the face. Even when the system is investigating targeted persons, it will jump from one individual to another, ultimately parsing all of their indiscretions and making everyone a target. Each test indicated one true fact, no one is innocent. I feel the urge to run to the press to give them conclusive evidence that Orwell exists, yet I ask myself, will it achieve anything? Just another news piece lost in the crowd, one that will be drowned out by the latest timeline scandal or whatever Rosen is eating for breakfast. I doubt I even have enough strength to leave this article live on the blog. I can't handle the shame of what I've done. I bet they'll start using the project against me, then others I'm a, I am connected to. It will be for the best if I just archive it, but I need to commit my thoughts to words, even if they are just for myself. It turns out that this was a sad fox game all along, dumb. False, cause I'm I'm not crying yet. All right, hold on. I just want to know if we could still, um, like um, send. Like, can we still try and find where she's hiding? I don't want to, but I wonder. That's something for another day. Anyways, let's access this computer, shall we? Oh, that's me. Oh, <laughs> that's me. Why is <laughs> Okay, uh. Okay, draft one, intention, goal of this paper, blah, blah, blah. The intention of Demiurge is to allow the investigation of prize and suspect individuals through online information. Okay. Oh, authorization key. Today I started my work at Rosen Tech, blah, 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 next to Rosen himself. Demiurge, ethical codex. Not important. How do we leak information about ourselves? Well, myself. Let's see. The development team has conducted a first test in a fictitious setting. The results have been disillusioning. Disillusioning. Devastating. What have I done? Is that just a weird coincidence, or is this game doing the non-invasively fucking with you thing? 
What, the weird coincidence that the picture looks like me? Yeah, it's just a coincidence that one of the default traces kind of looks like me. If that's what you're talking about, and that's why I picked it. Because it actually kind of looks like me. I just got one of those generic faces in a video game. And what's funny is that I actually used to have blue, ga blue glasses that kind of looked like that. But yeah, it's just a weird coincidence. And they're, like, fucking with me. If that's what you're... If that's what you mean, Cake. <laughs> um, what have I done? How could I have ever thought this was a good thing? When in truth, I have helped opening Pandora's box. The investigator somehow managed to convince the advisor that every single person in the test was suspicious. He turned all of them into target persons by bending the truth to his liking. They spied on all of their documents. Persons became labeled without looking at the full picture. Without seeing the human being, nothing works as it's supposed to. To make things worse, they introduce a third human element. You don't have a generic face, Jack. I know. I'm being humble. And also making a joke at the fact that that picture looks like me. <laughs> like, it's just enough. Where it's like, hey, if I just kind of take off my glasses, that could be me. That picture does he know justice? True though. True though. Like, that's not my angle. I'm I'm best I kinda like the side and up, you know what I'm saying? Strangely close to you though? Exactly. Like, my hair used to be about that length. I used to have glasses that looked like those. It's a weird thing. Anyways, the, uh, they turned all the blah, blah blah, they found all their documents, persons became labeled without looking at the full picture, without seeing the human being. Nothing works as it was supposed to. To make things wor even worse, they introduce a third human element. To oversee it, they call it evaluation. The other two make sure the investigator and advisor do not misuse their powers. Let's just link myself. Game is like, I see you, Jack. Yeah, like, I have been perceived. <laughs> Honestly, the first time I played the game and I saw that, I legitimately went, oh. Like, oh my god, oh no, they're spying on me. But it, it's just a very strange coincidence. Okay, I think we looked through all the notes. None of that is helpful. Okay, here's Jules, or Juliet. Why did you never turn to the press? I lost the material. No, we cannot. Juliet, there's one thing I've learned in all this. People need to see the consequences before they ever learn. They must experience them firsthand, or at least see them affect someone they can relate to. Otherwise, it is all just an abstract concept. Uh, Juliet, you have always regarded my advice. Listen to me in this case, too. Please, get into Rosen Tech for an internship. Delete the backup of the data I stored there. Remove every trace I ever worked on this godforsaken project. Then quit. That is no place for you. Just walk away and do not tell anyone. I can't do what you ask for. How could I ever? You're the only one who believed in me always. Not my friends, not my family, you alone. Okay. Let's see. Thought changed direction. We are on our way. This is my plan. From what you... From what you have told me, you are more than capable of building a bomb, are you not? Well, we need three of them. Place them at the most important places in town right before the eyes of the public. Uh, Freedom Plaza at the Memorial, Selgan University at the Central Courtyard, and finally the Circle Mall. Abe, I thought you had left us. I never understood. Okay, yeah, so here's where Juliet was pretending to be Abraham and told Nina to do these bombings. Oh, and here's his daughter trying to like talk to him. Oh no. Don't ask how I found you. It took me quite a while to figure out. You hit your traces very well, but I still managed to find some threads. Abraham Goldfels, is this who you are now? Well, I hope it was worth it, leaving Mama, leaving me. What did we do to you? Was it just too much on you? Did you hate us? Did you hate me? Don't get me wrong, I'm not mad at you. Somehow, I can't be. 
I'm certain you had your reasons. I just want an opportunity to understand them. I want to understand who my father really is. Well, he had to leave his wife and daughter all alone, struggling, crying, hoping every day that you would somehow return, explaining to my friends that my father was dead, when somehow I always felt like he wasn't. I have no idea if you're interested in me, what I mean to you, if anything at all. I have attached a photo and will tell you a little about me. I finished secondary school and I now attend Stuttgart University where I studied journalism. I travel between blah blah and blah blah every day even though it takes one and a half hours. I didn't want to move because of mama. She is fine most of the time, but I'd rather not leave her all alone. Dang. Okay, come on. What else can we leak about her, about myself? What else can I leak? I, I'm clicking on all the wrong things. I need Demiurge. The use of human elements in the system shall serve the purpose of keeping the investigation impartial while at the same time keeping powers divided. Demiurge shall be operated by pairs of human elements, an advisor who will operate from within the system, and an investigator who shall be a client outside the system, i.e. the nation. The advisor shall be employee of the government. Their duty shall include advising the investigator as well as drawing conclusions and requesting action. Considering a person as a target person. To this end, the advisor may communicate directly with the investigator. The investigator shall be a citizen outside of the nation to reach the utmost impartiality. The investigator must not be able to communicate with the advisor to prevent power misuse. Okay, how can we just leak this though? Oh shit, there it is. I was just thinking, hey, why can't I find any information about me? That's ruined the whole point of this. But never mind, found it. Evaluation, Jack. Huh, that's me. Oh, I'm trustworthy. It's still really freaky how much that picture looks at looks like me though. <laughs> I should make my I should make that my profile picture. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's me. Cause an investigation on Watergate family based on speculation. Yeah, I did. There I thought there was enough evidence that Cassandra's parents kind of like move things around so she would get out of the trial okay and yeah she was potentially dangerous potentially there's a difference and yeah i do believe she tried to protect juliet that's right i did i'm observant I wasn't done uploading. A self-incriminating Orwell investigator causes reveal of the Project CL. Parliament stormed by protesters after worldwide outrage over the surveillance program. Government announces immediate termination of Orwell. Immar impartial agency commissioned with erasing stored data permanently. Heh, <laughs> I did that. No evidence against Carrington. Previously arrested thought member Carrington released. No solid evidence for Bonton bombing incitements. Investigator assisting activist group thought with recent of revelations to be declared honorary member. That's me. That's me. Thought has declared the investigator assisting the activist group with the recent revelations as an honorary member. It is presumed that the symbolic act is an attempt to save the investigator from possible prosecution by exposing by exposing her role to the public <laughs> since the investigator broke national law by their actions. Could they put their role to the public? <laughs> This is presumed to mark the end of the case known as the Bonton bombings. Experts suggest that after the troubled event of the recent week, the nation and its citizens will eventually will finally find some long overdue peace and quiet.
That's me. I was a good government worker until the very end. <laughs> and then I went, yeet. That was a very long stream. I streamed for seven hours. <laughs> Oops. <laughs>